I'm sure most of you are opening Search Console every day, but many of you are misreading the data, wasting hours, and in some cases, actually hurting your SEO. And today, I'm going to break down three biggest mistakes people often make with Google Search Console. And after watching this video, you will totally change the way how you look at Search Console, and you will have better knowledge about fixing your site SEO and getting more traffic and getting better rankings on Google Search Engine. So without wasting any time, let's go to my screen. But before that, I highly, highly recommend you to subscribe to the channel because I share all these important tips free of cost on this channel, which you'll not find anywhere else on YouTube. Okay, the first mistake is misreading the data. Most of the people, when they come to Google Search Console and they go to pages, there are many pages, they are not indexed on search engine. And people think all these are errors. Actually, these all are not errors. The thing people don't understand is Search Console is not all about giving you errors about your website. Search Console is more about how your website is performing on Google Search Engine. Search Console shows you exactly why pages are being indexed and why pages are not being indexed. And not everything which is shown here is an error because most of the people think if I have all these things here, I have to fix everything. I see so many comments on my channel. People say, okay, if we don't have to fix anything, why we are seeing all these things here? So because Search Engine is telling you, you have all these pages or you are present on your website. Some pages should be indexed which we show you, they already indexed some pages, they should not be indexed. If you want to index them, you can take some action. But sometimes what happens, if you remove some pages, which should not be indexed on Google, those are also shown here. Everything will make sense. Let me give you an example. So for example, you can see I have multiple reasons here why pages will not be indexed. Let's take this one, page redirect. And this is very common issue most of the people faces. So if I click on page redirect, you will see I have four pages which are shown here. So for example, this is the first page here, which is let's create website.com slash contact. So this page is not being indexed and why it's not being indexed because it got a redirect and what's happening here. So this page contact page right now on my website, I changed the URL of this page and this page URL is get in touch. It is not anymore called contact on website. So what I did myself created a redirect on website. So URL contact will be redirect to get in touch page. So what search console is doing? It's telling me that I found a redirect on your website and this is totally fine with me. You do not need to do anything. If this is something you set up on your website, you don't need to take any action because I set up this redirect and sometimes this URL will be gone from here. Let me give another example. So you can see this is a page on the website, how to roll back downgrade WordPress version. If I click on this glass icon, you can see it has page with redirect. So if I take this URL here, copy it and if I open this URL in browser, you see the page is redirected. It's me who set up this redirect. So Google is just showing me all the information about the website. It's not telling me all these things are error. And you can see this page does not exist in my sitemap anymore. So I've removed this page from sitemap. And in some time, Google will understand that this page is already moved permanently. And Google will not show me this URL here in the page redirect. A number will go down. So what I want to say, not everything shown here is an error. For example, if you go to not found 404, and you can see here, we have so many pages here. And my website got hacked few months ago, so I have all these pages on my website. I fixed my website, so these pages don't exist on my website anymore. That's why I'm seeing 404 message from Google. And a lot of people become so stressed about this that I have all these URLs showing here in Search Console. What should I do about them? These pages were not supposed to be exist on my website. I took action and now they don't exist. And Search Console is showing me that these pages have 404. So, Google search is not telling me that I have to fix it, but Google search is telling me what is the status of these pages. So if they don't exist, they are 404, it's good for my website. So it's not an error, you don't need to fix anything about it. Same thing happens with blocks by robot.txt. If I click on this, you can see I have these pages, WP admin. So I told Google do not call the pages they start WP admin because they're backend pages. I should have put no index tag also, but there's some pages which I don't want to be indexed on Google. I added them in my robot.txt file and they're showing here that these pages or these URLs cannot be crawled by Google or they're blocked to be indexed because of robot.txt file because I added those things. So if those URLs are showing here, that's totally fine. You don't need to do anything about it. So a summary of all these things is that everything what you see on Search Console is not an error. Please use Search Console to understand how your website is working, how your URLs are structured, how they're interconnected, how they're linked to each other. So change your point of view. And I received so many comments about this thing on my channel. So please change your point of view, how you look at Google, how you read the data. And I have a complete playlist about Google Search Console, which consists 31 videos, which explain you everything about all these things you see on Search Console, like what to do about those things. I cover all those things in very detail. You can just go to my channel and also I will add a link in the description. 
And once you watch all this video, I guarantee you, you will have so good knowledge about Search Console and about your website SEO. And before you go to the second point, I would like to mention that we have channel membership here on YouTube or on Patreon. You will find the link in the description, which gives you access to exclusive stuff, a lot of cheat sheets and a lot of strategy only available for channel members. And it is also a great way to support the channel. So if you're interested and you're serious about your website growth and ranking, consider joining the channel membership on YouTube or Patreon. Link will be in the description. Okay, the second point is validate fix. I see a lot of people on YouTube and in real life what they does, they just click on validate fix thinking that the issues will be gone. No, you should not be doing this. For example, I see a lot of people, they go to crawl current not index and then what they do, they think all the pages are not being indexed. So what they does, they click on validate fix. This will not solve any issue in most of the cases. So guys, what's happening? So Google give you all this data and if you're not taking any action and then you're just clicking validate fix, it will not help you. Even it will make your SEO worse. Why? Because you're not taking any action and you are telling Google, okay, we fix something and then you recrawl a website and index those pages, but no. And Google will say, okay, this is just waste of time. So Google will limit your crawl budget. It's not Google is actively doing it. It's just system. They're doing it because you're not making any change in your website. So it might go against you. There's no official document about it that this will go against you. But yes, that's what I felt in my experience. So before using this button validate face, you need to take any action. Again, what is the issue with your website? How website page is not been indexed? I have complete video about it. You can take action from there. And once you took appropriate action, then only use this validate fix button. Please do not use this button without making any changes, without making any significant change in the website. For example, in most of the cases, crawl credit not index issue is because your pages are low value or they created by AI. I have complete video about on crawl credit not index, how you can index your pages quickly, how to make the high quality. You can check the link in the description. So overall ideas do not use validate fix button without fixing anything. If you just overuse it, it might affect the crawl budget of your website and you are hurting your SEO. Okay, let's go to third point. The third point is everything what you see in Google data is not always updated. For example, if you see a page which is under crawl content not index, it's a new page and this page here you can see consultation page. If I click here on glass icon, you can see UI is not on Google, but sometime it is already indexed on Google. So what you need to do is click here on test live URL and then you see the real status of this page. I see a lot of people, they get confused. They say, okay, it is showing not index here on search console, but in real on Google, it is indexed. So always use test live URL button. And in a lot of cases, your pages are already indexed. They might not show here index, but they are already indexed. As you can see here, URL is available to Google. Page availability, page can be indexed. It does not say that page is indexed. So what you can do, the best thing is go to Google and then type the page URL. If you see the page URL here, it means the page is indexed. And guys, it's really important to know how Search Console works. I have so many videos about Search Console. If you want to become a Search Console master, you can check the video linked in the description. I guarantee you, once you watch this video, you will improve your knowledge a lot and your website rank will improve and you will have more traffic on your website. Hope this video is useful for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you're serious about your website growth and ranking, consider joining the channel membership. Link will be in the description.